Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a king cobra. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having a hard time drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a button, or anything else with a circular edge. To the right, draw a small arc as a guide for the muzzle. The line for the muzzle should be similar to the letter U on its side. Under the head, draw a bigger circle as a guide for the cobra's hood. Use the four marks method to draw this circle too. First make four small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle for the hood should be about four times the size of the circle for the head. Place this circle slightly to the left of the head. On the left side, draw a curved line that connects the two circles to complete the guide for the top part of the hood. Draw a shorter line on the right side too. Far down below the big circle, make a small mark to indicate the bottom edge of the hood. Now connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the bottom half of the hood. This line should be similar to a big letter U. Under the hood, draw the guides for the rest of the body using long curved lines. First draw a line that curves to the left for the front part of the body. Then curve the line up and to the right so that it overlaps itself. Don't curve this line too high up. Continue to draw the line toward the right and then curve it down and back to the left. The curve on the right side should be similar to the curve on the left side. The tip should almost touch the left section of the line. At the bottom, curve the line down and then back to the right to finish the guide for the body. Pay attention to the length of this line and how it curves. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head on the top right side, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. On top of the eye, draw a short sloping line for the brow. Curve the right tip of the line up slightly. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw another small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Make the edge of the eye darker. Near the bottom edge of the head, lightly sketch a wavy line for the mouth. Extend the line far to the left to make the mouth wide. When you get the shape of the mouth right, darken the line. Curve the right tip of the line up slightly. The left tip of the mouth should touch the edge of the initial circle. Above the mouth, on the right side, draw a small triangular shape and shade it in for the nostril. Place the nostril on the right side of the initial circle. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Draw the top of the head as one long continuous line. Make the top part of the head flatter than the initial circle. On the left side, follow the path of the guide and curve the line downward. Make the bottom part of the head slightly thinner than the initial guides. There should be a small space between the mouth and the bottom edge of the head. Under the head, draw a couple of short curved lines for the skin on the neck. Place these lines along the top edge of the big initial circle. 
Now use the big shapes under the head as guides to draw the hood. Simply darken the sides of the guides to create the shape of the hood. The left side of the head and hood should be made up of one long continuous line. The right side of the hood should have the same curvature as the left side. Don't make the hood too wide, keep it thin. Inside the hood, on the sides, draw two long vertical lines to emphasize the structure of the hood. Draw these lines close to the outer edges of the hood. Now use the curved lines under the hood as guides to draw the rest of the body. Lightly sketch the shape of the body around the guideline. The line on the left should end where the guide curves. Continue to draw the sides of the hood down and to the left to follow the path of the guide. Pay attention to the distance between the sides of the body and the guide so that the body won't be too thick or too thin. Remember to sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. And also pause the video to draw at your own pace. Now curve the bottom line up and to the right and continue to follow the path of the guide. Don't overlap the front part of the body as you draw this line to the right. Continue to draw this line on the right and curve it down on the right side. Lightly sketch a long curved line in the middle and continue to follow the path of the guide. This line will slightly overlap the left section of the body. On the right side, lightly sketch a shorter line for the bottom edge of the middle section. Now lightly sketch the thin tip of the tail around the bottom part of the guide. Draw the top edge of the tail close to the initial guideline. Add a longer curved horizontal line above for the bottom edge of the middle section. The end of the body is thinner, so draw the edges closer to the guide to make the shape skinny. Draw the shape of the body, thick in the middle and gradually make it thinner toward the tail. Make the tip of the tail thin and pointy. When you get the shape of the body right, darken the lines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't overlap the sections of the body that are in the foreground. And now erase the initial guidelines. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay to leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. And now shade your drawing. Start with a light value. Push down very lightly on your pencil for a light value and then push down harder for darker values. Add small sections of value across the body to create a striped pattern. Alternate between a light value and a blank section to space out the stripes. Gradually make the stripe smaller the closer you get to the tail. Now use a darker value throughout the body to create shadows. Shadows will give the body more volume and help the figure look more three-dimensional. Shade lightly at first and then gradually build up to darker values. Pick a light source when you shade so that the shadows are consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Continue to gradually and slowly add darker values throughout the body. Use an especially dark value on the stripes to emphasize the pattern. Use a slightly lighter value along the top parts of the body to create shine. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a king cobra. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the cobra. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace.
Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.